Hello. My name is Nikita, and I made a car that uses to drive the energy of the sun. It doesn't need petrol. It doesn't need an outlet to recharge. All it needs is for the sun to shine. And now I want to drive this car for 3,000 kilometers using only solar energy. So, I'm going on a trip to 3,000 kilometers in this sun car. But, as usual, I don't know what to bring with me. Probably need to take tools, a multimeter, two spare controllers for motor wheels. What else to take? What kind of breakdown of this sun car can wait for me on the road? There is not much to break here. Here there are motor wheels. Each motor wheel has controller batteries. Just in case, each battery has two BMS pump. Just in case, I took three 250 watt power supplies with me. We need to take an extension cord. We only need a wire. I really hope that, throughout my trip, the weather will be sunny, and this thing will be useless for me. Tesla 2018, Sun Car 2021, both are controlled from a smartphone. So, come on, turn on the lights. The headlights are on, now I'm turning on the headlights, the headlights are on. Can you beep? Yes. Come on. And you? Yes. And the turn signals? I don't have this on my phone. I want to drive on my legendary solar car. 3,000 kilometers in order to show people that solar electricity is cool. But this friend of mine wants to drive a Tesla for how many kilometers? 10,500 approximately. 10,500 kilometers only on electricity. And what is your mission? The mission is not just to get to Vladivostok, but to put charging stations along the way and thereby pave the way of light, the so-called. That is, we are going, organizing round tables in the cities of destination, attracting electric vehicles, city administrations, setting up charging stations, and moving on. And in these cities, then the number of electric vehicles, charging stations begins to grow, and everyone is switching to clean energy. Amazing. So, the pre-departure tests were very successful. The solar panels are connected in pairs. The maximum power that I could collect from these models, 260W from these panels, 250W. And from these panels, about that too. I want to say that I decided to completely abandon the trailer with solar panels. The solar panels from the trailer I decided to take with me as luggage. Here it is in several layers. I also managed to solve the problem of aerodynamics. Here in front I attached a bumper that will cut through the air. And this is just fine. But what to do with glass? It is absolutely perpendicular to the direction of movement. The headwind will not offer any resistance if flies through car. And the bolts will not be able to suddenly unscrew on the road if it is properly boiled. Spare underpants, blue. Sleeping bag, tools, tripod. Here is such a shabby seat. Chest. So, the first stage, equip the sun car and send it by parcel to the city of Urals, to the starting point. You can't even imagine how scared I am. But it doesn't matter. Now, overcoming fear, we will go to a transport company. And there will be no turning back. And now you can observe my first day of travel syndrome. I call it that. This is when 
You understand. What awaits you on your journey? And thoughts creep into your head. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you can quit this venture. Maybe it's not worth it. Should I take such a risk? God, and this is the most difficult of all that needs to be overcome. So, in St. Petersburg I hit almost 400 kilometers. That's all. Now it is waiting for a strong crate. And I won't see it again. Damn, the prices are just awful. <laughs> Shipping cost $800. Horror. What I'm about to do. No one has ever done such a perversion. A self-made car assembled in a cramped garage from improvised trash powered by solar energy. With this, I'm going to drive 3,000 kilometers along the Silk Road to the border with China. According to calculations, it will take me about a month on my way, on purpose I won't shave, so that you can see from the length of my beard, how long I'm going on this journey and how long it will take. So, the next step, take the train, and go on it to Samara City, 29 hours of travel. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Bye. And now, after 28 hours on the train, I almost arrived in Samara. So, Samara. And now, I need someone to take me to the city of Urals. Hello. Hello. I need to get from the city of Samara to Urals. God, how I missed the Kazakh steps. Holly Molly. Today is June 22nd, the day of the summer solstice. The day when I have to leave in the sun car on my trip. But the sun car, for some reason, is delayed, and I came to visit my subscriber earlier than a sun car. So, June 23rd, the second day in the city of Urals, and there is no sun car yet. Repeat, again, when did you say the shipment would arrive? Documents on the carrier should be ready next week. If they are all right next week, everything will be prepared, then, accordingly, the nearest, your car will be on the first of the day, that is, on Thursday. If all the documents are ready, we will send it on the first day. It's just kind of a shame. It's just a shame. On June 19th, the cargo arrived in Samara. On June 21st, the cargo was to be delivered to Urals. On the night of the 21st to the 22nd of June, I arrived in Urals, and on June 22nd, I had to leave from here. It's now June 23rd, and they asked me, 
to wait another week. Guess. Which company? I will never use again? I am listening. Listen, I send a cargo from St. Petersburg to Samara and order delivery to the city of Urals. So, the cargo has arrived in Samara, but they tell me that it should reach Urals only in the first half of June. Will you be very upset if hundreds of thousands of people find out about the current situation? Hello? Well, there is nothing pleasant about it. What are you talking about now? Yes, of course. I will be upset. It will be very unpleasant. Do you want to put this kind of information on the social network? Today is the 30th of June. Hello to all subscribers. Those who are waiting for my trip on the sun car. Now I am in Urals. And my son mobile is in Samara, and I've been waiting here for more than a week. How long will the documents take to prepare? Um, look, we're checking with the driver about this. He says that by the end of this week the documents will be ready. Um, that is, next week we will already coordinate the delivery of this cargo. Tell me, please, why did you undertake the transportation of my cargo? If you are known to have such problems. Um, why were you waiting, you mean? Why? Why did you take it? Why didn't you send me to another company that would deliver the goods on time? Well, it's probably better for you to check with, um, a company in St. Petersburg. I don't know how aware they are of this general information. I lost more than a week of my life because of the transport company, Peck. They promised to deliver the goods tomorrow. But now, they say that tomorrow, they will not be able to deliver the goods and ask to wait another week. We send a tow truck to Samara, have it pick up my cargo and deliver it here instead of Peck. So, my Sun Mobile, finally it's here. Well, let's keep it and slowly roll it up. How terrible it is. Let's go to the middle. And it's better to rest here with your hands. It's just plastic. Like that. Wow. It's heavy. Here, at last, the Sun Mobile arrived to me. Let's take a look at what condition it arrived in. For the solar car, I ordered a plywood box to be made for me. I paid $160 for this plywood box. And now, tell me please, does it look like a plywood box? Does this look like a plywood box? God, what a nightmare. But this stretch film costs $160, according to you? And here is the same Vasily, where I was supposed to live for two days, but I lived for two weeks. Tell me, are you glad that I'm finally leaving you? Nope. <laughs> well, do you want to drive? Steer? Yes. Yes? Didn't even dream about it. Well, listen. The back is much more comfortable here. Yes? No place to put your feet. Not enough pedals. <laughs> come on. Will you sit next to me? Well, come on. Turn the throttle and turn there. Those are the brakes. Yes, brakes. Left rear, right front, right? No, both front. One is left, the other is right. Yes. <laughs>
Engage forward gear. That's what. Let's go. Why do your emergency lights work? Well, I parked on the side of the road. Uh. <laughs> ah, the cow is simply shocked. Just like, what was it? Yes. <laughs> Oh well, that's all. Now it remains for me to go for groceries. And it's time to start my journey towards China. <laughs>